In this video, I just wanted to provide you with another way, another method to build a set of stairs. And this, of course, would be using metal brackets to attach the treads to the stringers instead of the regular conventional method, which would require you to notch the stringers and then, of course, apply the treads and risers over the notched stringers. And again, this is the most common method. However, you will run into um, other reasons why you're going to need to use brackets. And of course, you're going to use a stair stringer just like you will use for the conventional uh, set of stairs, except the only difference here will be the fact that you will be using a metal bracket. And in some cases, I've actually seen people use a piece of wood, and that is not what I would recommend. The metal brackets seem to work pretty good and can be purchased at uh, most home improvement centers and lumber yards. Now, uh, wood, now when it comes right down to it, you know, here's a question I'm sure you all have, which method would be better? And I really can't answer that. Each one has an application for different uh, reasons and can be validated accordingly. So I'm kind of going to leave that up to your structural engineers and your building designers. Uh, however, most stairways today require closed stair, tr stair treads or risers, I should say. So uh, you would need to fill the area with, uh, let's just say, a 2 by 8 behind the stair treads or underneath the stair treads, behind the bottom stair tread, underneath the uh, next stair tread that would be on top. There is one more thing that uh, I have to mention, and this, of course, uh, is uh, one of the reasons why I made the video also, i got to throw that in, is that I have written a book on how to build this particular stairway and actually this is the this is the model I used to uh, create pictures for the book to make it easier and it really is a straightforward and simple book relatively simple book to follow um, step by step instructions so just wanted to throw that out there hey what the heck I gotta plug myself every once in a while right last but not least you can actually use prefabricated concrete stair treads for this particular design also and this is a real common design for apartments um, condominiums exterior stairways more than interior stairways but don't forget the concrete is a great idea concrete will probably last a lot longer than the wood if the wood is not maintained and taken care of accordingly and these, uh, the areas between the concrete and the wood will need to be cleaned. Any accumulation of debris in these areas will remain moist most of the time for long periods of time, eventually rotting the wood. I can't tell you how many of these stairs I have had to replace. I've had to remove the concrete stringers, set them aside, cut new stair stringers, and uh, reassemble them. The concrete's fine, the metal brackets are fine, but the wood will rot if it is not maintained. And again, like I said, debris accumulation between the concrete, the edge of the concrete stair tread, and the edge of the concrete stringer uh, will need to be removed as uh, often as possible. It cannot accumulate in there, otherwise you're going to have some big home repair bills in the future.